Hey everybody, welcome back to Dave the Diver. We're here on day three, the third day of October. It's rainy today and we had to continue diving for fish to keep the sushi restaurant in business. And we have a new arrival here, Dr. Bacon. Are you Dave by any chance? No. Yes, uh, what is it, sir? Wow, I'm always right about these things. <laughs> Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People Civilization. The Sea People Civilization? <laughs> I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me to tell you about them? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have asked. The Sea People Civilization lives in legends. They are said to have occupied this region long ago. They worshipped fish and had gills, allowing them to live underwater. They lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions by other civilizations. But sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's about all there is to the story. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. But proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Oh? Huh? This is an amazing find, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it is from no known civilization. It's dated to around 1500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Hmm, that is interesting. But what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out and he won't be around for a good while. That's why I'd like you to help me. Oh. My assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please, go take a look. Uh, we're busy with the sushi bar. I, I don't think we can. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. Yeah. <laughs> what? I, we don't have time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Pancho Sushi will be bursting at the seams. Mm. Um, I, I, I suppose you have a point. <laughs> All right, I'll help. <laughs> Isn't that lucky? Oh, of course, I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Whoa. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, eh? First, install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. Okay, the iDiver app allows you to enhance various diving equipment, upgrade equipment with the money you make at the sushi bar and elsewhere, and explore deeper waters. Now then, let me tell you how to use iDiver. I'll install the app for you, so unlock your phone first. Upgrade the diving suit for free. Okay. So, our current depth limit is 40 meters. By upgrading it, uh, we will upgrade it. We will set the depth limit to 80 meters. There's the cargo box, the harpoon gun, and the air tank as well. Okay, so uh, a diving suit that maintains Dave's temperature underwater upgrades make di Dave less visible to fish. Good! Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your carrier box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch. Chapter 1, Traces of the Sea People. Okay, so we have a new sub-quest or sub-objective to get down to 70 meters and find some sort of artifact. Uh, before we do that, since we have some spare cash... Let's see how much it would cost to upgrade our air tank. Air level 90 bar to air level 115. 65, worth it, let's do that. How about the cargo box? That's gonna cost another 55. That'll just about wipe us out, but an additional four kilograms of weight is probably worth having as well. Okay, let's get down there and see what we can find. 
So, one thing I want to prioritize here is getting fish early in the morning uh, and hopefully finding an oxygen tank so we can extend our dive. Uh, and then if we can't find our, uh, whatever, the traces of the sea people, the artifact that we're looking for here on nice and early, then we can always uh, come back later. What do we got over here? Shock Harpoon Tip Level 1. Harpoon Tip that inflicts a shock effect. Target is paralyzed upon attack. Okay, let's grab that. So we got the jellyfish over there. Ooh, they've got a box. What do we got here? Blue seashell, purple sea urchin. That's an oxygen tank. Okay, so let's not grab that right now. Ah, it hurts? I don't think sea urchins can be picked up with these gloves. Okay, so let's do our fishing first, then we'll come back for the oxygen. Let's see, we gotta be careful here. Yeah, we got hit. Not good. Ah, not good. There we go, okay. Missed it. Missed it again. There we go. Hmm. Let's catch some more fish here. Uh, I'm still not quite that good at this yet. I bounced off the jellyfish. Yeah, I need to need to get better at this. There we go. Black spot sea bream. swimming away from us, it looks like. We chase it to the edge, does it disappear, or does it... No. Aw, oh, really? I'm trying to catch up to it, I guess. Burns through our oxygen. We have that tank. Man. Almost. There we go. There's another one. All right, so we got plenty of fish now. We can probably, uh, we could get another, what's it called? Uh, jellyfish, if we really needed it to. Oh, I could, I could have picked that up and then held it in my inventory until I needed it. All right, that's a good thing to know. What is this over here? Ammo box. Immediately refills the ammo of the current gun in use. So where is my gun? Uh, okay, so I do have the gun. So I could use that to like soften up the jellyfish, for example, or shoot this thing. Yeah, let's try. Let's try using the gun on this on this thing. Okay, so that did soften it up. Oh, hold up. No, get away! Get away! Oh, okay, so that one, it actually killed it. Uh, let's see, where are we? We're at 38 point, we're at 40 meters. We're not even going that far. Let's see what this is. Escape pod. Okay. Uh, we got some rope. What we could really use is some more oxygen. Oh, we got some squid down here. Hold on, let's get, let's get a squid. That's, oh, it, it released some ink. 
fascinating. We're down to 60 meters. Come on. Almost. Ooh. He got ticked off. Really dark. Hard to see. He's still releasing the ink. I can't see him. So, those are going to be hard to catch then. We're down to 60 meters. We've only got... Hang on. If this isn't an oxygen tank, we might not get it this time. Oh, I see an oxygen tank over to the left. What is this? Long distance underwater scooter. Okay, we'll take that. It's going to help us speed up. And we can go down and get this oxygen tank. Oh, it, it that one immediately filled us up. Okay. Where are we on our weight? We're at 11 out of 13, so we could carry one more thing. We're down near the 70 meter mark, but we're not quite where we need to be here. Let's see, what is this? A fragment acquired by disassembling weapon used to enhance weapons. Let's grab that. An ammo box we don't need. Sea People Artifact, we found it. Oh, Dave, I think that's the one. Come back to the boat safely. I'll be waiting. Uh, what? Oh, boy. That's not good. That is a big boy. Big squid. Giant squid. What? What was that just now? I'll have to go back to the boat right away. So we can swim faster here. I would like to try catching one of the squids if we can. We have a little bit of time left. Let's try shooting one first. And then we'll go after it with the gun now that it's weakened. Or the harpoon. Come on. Oh, it had a different mechanic. Try again. Come on, it's it's injured. Just get it, Dave. Ah. Can't see with all this ink. Where's the one that got hurt? It was like bleeding. Maybe it was that one? Come on, come on, come on, come on, get it, get it, get it. Ah, almost. I'm still paralyzed. Got him. Okay, we caught... It's not a squid, it's a cuttlefish. And we got a cuttlefish skin fragment. All right, so we're now we are definitely overloaded. But we've got plenty of oxygen. What was this over here? Turmeric, a flowering plant of the ginger family. All right, what can we drop? What's heavy here? Uh, the Titan Triggerfish? Let's discard that. Let's grab this turmeric. Okay, so we're still overloaded, but not too badly. Let's just get back to the surface with our haul. Upgrading that cargo box is going to be important. But we, we lucked out. We found a lot of good oxygen on this run, so we were able to get quite a, quite a lot of material and fish. So we're kind of going to be well set for, for the sushi bar tonight. I guess at this point we can kind of explore in our night, in our night, uh, our night dive. Alright, you brought it out safely! It seems to be in very good condition. Almost as if it was stored somewhere until recently. Mm, very interesting. This may be the find of the century, even. Alright, Dave, let's continue to work together and uncover the secrets of the Sea People Civilization. What? I, I thought I'd only be helping you once. <laughs> of course, say no more. Just put our restaurant at the top of the list of affiliates. That won't be hard to do. I have a very lucky feeling about this. I'll be in touch.
300 gold, olive oil, and turmeric. Okay. So, dive number four. We were down there for eight minutes and 30 seconds. That's our best time yet, and hit a depth of 73 meters. Caught 14 fish. Obtained three items. Our biggest fish was a yellow back fusilier, uh, 40 centimeters. Look at this little, <laughs> look at this little icon of him coming up with all this fishing haul. So we got turmeric and fish. Oh, and then it uh, looks like Bancho called us. Uh, Dave, while you were out at sea, the repairs were completed. Let's head to the restaurant. Okay, so I guess it's a good thing we caught all those fish. We didn't, uh, we didn't get a night dive, or maybe we'll get one later. Wow, it's it's looking very nice. <laughs> it doesn't matter how delicious the food is. A restaurant can't be a mess. Uh, if you want to change the interior, the interior menu below is open. So please, check it. New content interior. Okay. You can now freely change up the interior of Bancho Sushi. Use the interior tab to select a style to your liking. Ah, uh, but as Dr. Bacon said, if the remains of sea people are found here, customers will indeed come, but the area is kind of remote. So I think we'll need a way to advertise the store until then. Mm. Yeah, these days it's just about impossible to attract customers without publicity. Mm. Oh, have you tried the social media app named Cooksta? Mm. You mean the social media app young people use to post pictures of the food they eat? Mm. Yeah, that's how all businesses are promoting themselves lately. Mm. I simply can't understand why people would waste their time like that. Mm. Sushi makes an impression on the heart. Not photographs. Mm. Mm. Even so, isn't it? Isn't it better to use it than to keep people ignorant of your food, Bancho? Mm. You have a point there. Mm. Making an account is simple, so let's let's try it out. Mm. You first register and and make the hashtag Bancho Sushi, then mm. done. Mm. Hmm. Well, it's not as complicated as I expected. Mm. Now, customers happy with your food will, will follow Bancho Sushi. Hmm, I'm not sure about this, but okay, I got it. I'll also install the Cooksta app on my phone and check the followers' posts. Okay, raise your rating in Cooksta. More customers will visit and new foods will be unlocked. The unlock conditions of new ratings can be seen in a Cooksta app. Okay, so let's go over to the interior here and take a look. Uh, wow, there's a lot here. Normal wood table or oriental modern, or we can purchase the light wood table. Well, I kind of like that. Let's check out the chairs, a brown stool, a rattan bar chair or a hardwood bar chair. The ceiling can be wooden, hardwood, or oriental modern. Normal speaker, we've got lighting, decoration, a bonsai. Well, I guess we're going for, we're definitely going for Japanese theme. Uh, let's add some decoration. There we go. Uh, Deco four, Cobra's picture. That's already owned, let's throw that up. Deco five, nothing. And let's go ahead and get some, uh, do we want rattan bar chairs or hardwood bar chairs? Let's get rattan. Okay, so the total's gonna be 105 to buy all those decoration or interior improvements. Let's do that. Okay. Check out our ingredients. Or set up our menu. I guess we don't get, check the, uh, the Cooksta app we just added. Okay, so we got a timeline, new, Cobra underscore dollar sign, dollar sign, that's, <laughs> that's Cobra's handle. Uh, 41 likes. Let's go ahead and add a like. Bancho Sushi's Bar's grand opening. You've never tasted sushi like this before. Reasonable prices and great service. Open only in the evenings. Hashtag Bancho Sushi. Hashtag Best Sushi. Hashtag Blue Hole. Hashtag Good Price. Hashtag Open at Night. Hashtag Best Flavor. Hashtag Special Price. Can you tell he's new? to uh, Cookstagram. Uh, to rank up, we need 10 followers and we get some rewards there, some recipes, an additional menu slot, kitchen staff, wasabi amount, okay. And then my page, 
Uh, I'm not sure what this is about. Bancho Sushi, the official count of Bancho Sushi Bar. Cole, I don't know what that is, and likes zero. And then Bancho took a picture. Bancho Sushi, three likes. Let's make that to four. This is how you take a profile picture. It's hard. Underscore Bancho Sushi, underscore Tasty, underscore, or hashtag kind. Okay. There's that. And Dr. Bacon wanted to talk to us. What is it? Did you discover something new? Uh, that's not it. I see. Uh, tell me if you see anything peculiar, whatever it may be. All right. Uh, no new email. Nothing on the calendar. Still don't know how to really take a picture. So what do we do now? I diver. We could upgrade our tank again. Or the cargo box. I think the cargo box is the one I want. But do I want to spend all this money right now? Yeah, why not? You only live once, right? YOLO. All right, so we're down to 89 gold. Go to the weapon shop. Hmm. Well, I guess we're not getting an afternoon dive, so let's just set the menu and let's get ready to open. I don't see a way to go back to dive here, or I guess if I go over to the exit? Oh, I could exit. Okay, hang on. And I can pet this cat. Mama says meow. So we can go back to the boat and do some more, do our do our evening dive before we go uh, into the menu making for tonight. Let's do that. Let's go down deep again and see if we can find some interesting fish that we haven't encountered. Oh wait a minute, those little those little guys look new. Let me capture a few of those. Oh, oh a dolphin. Huh? A, a dolphin? Hmm. Seems to be asking me to follow. Should I should I try and follow it? Alright, let's swim with the dolphin. I guess we're fine with fish for tonight, so we don't need to worry about this. There's a bunch of new looking fish though, which is interesting. There's an O2 tank right there. Some gun parts. Oh, he wants help. A pink dolphin's caught in the net. So it was asking me to rescue its friend. I should cut that net. Absolutely. He dropped a pearl. Oh, it seems to have left a gift. I didn't even know dolphins had mates. Well, let's grab this gift, a pearl acquired from pearl oysters. It's probably worth a lot of money. A fragment, okay. And that's a piece of iron, right? Scrap iron, yeah, we don't need that. Uh, this is an escape pod, I believe. Okay. What we got here? An oxygen capsule that we can carry with us. That's cool. Okay. Let's keep exploring. There's some kajime. Some sort of uh, ingredient, I guess. Wood. What is this? A brown seashell? Okay. Uh, we can try capturing some fish we haven't seen before. Oh, there's a shark, though. That's... that's very worrying. I don't know if we want to mess around with that. Okay, I think my, my harpoon isn't really strong enough. Let's not get caught up with the shark there. There's this this fish over here that's like dark colored. The the shark has like a 
Yeah, he's that's that's worrying. How much how much does it take to Okay, he's running away. Okay. Maybe I can maybe we can make shark fin soup if I get him. Oh, I, I switched to the wrong thing. I missed. There we go. Out of ammo. Okay. Whatever the deal is with Mr. Shark, I don't think we're able to kill him. He's too strong. Let's get away from him. Let's go ahead and use our oxygen tank. Oh, that was a mistake. There was another one right here. Ammo box. Okay. Maybe we will go back and keep trying to see. Let's see if we can get this shark. We heard him. We hit him a couple times. Oh, we got him. We got him. I think. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, suck it. White tip reef shark head. Did we get anything else from it? Meat. Okay, so we got the head and the meat. Let's try to catch a few more of these fish we haven't seen before. Oh, we got one of these guys. I'm not sure I want the lionfish. How much? What's our weight at? 10 of 19? Okay. Uh, we're back on the harpoon. white snapper. All right. Come on. We got you. We got you. All right. So we got a couple of interesting fish here. We can go down a little deeper. We've still got some oxygen left. Oh, look at that thing over there. I feel like the deeper we go, the more interesting the fish become and the things that we can find as well. So what's this? Blue seashell, brown seashell, none of these are clams. Here's the cuttlefish, and wow, what do we got down here? Are those like currents? Or starfish. Yeah, there's there's currents that kind of push you around. Interesting. Oh, that's pushing it up into those spiky things. Probably, probably a good thing I managed to avoid that. Hang on, I want to check out... Uh, what this is down here, if I can. A flask? Okay. Pushed around by these currents. Uh, okay, so we've kind of hit the bottom edge of our diving depth, as, as low as we can go. Uh, and I think at this point, with only 60 units of oxygen left, we probably want to get back to the surface. We're also near our carrying capacity. We've got a lot of fish for tonight already, including some stuff we haven't seen before, so I'm going to head back up here. I think the... Oh, look at that. There's like an eel. There's like an eel there. Hang on. Oh, that scared him away. Did I get just the right angle here? I can't, I can't hit him. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, we got something over here. This is interesting. Silver bowl. A silver dish. It'll fetch a decent price. Okay. And what is this? Some kind of gun part or small net gun? Okay. We, I, well, net gun, that's interesting. That would, might make it easier to capture multiple small fish at once. All right, we need to get back to the surface quickly here. There's also another type of jellyfish over there that we haven't seen before. Some plants, another box. There's tons of stuff here. I guess if we grab this, it can just give us a little bit of a safety net to get back up. That's going to fully refill us back up to full. But again, we're carrying almost full capacity, so let's just head back to the surface. Plenty of dives ahead of us, plenty of opportunities to check out more of these, these things we can discover uh, beneath the surface. Okay, dive number five. 
New best depth, caught eight fish and obtained five items. Biggest fish was a white tip reef shark. And we got some cooking ingredients. Ooh, the, yeah, the white tip reef shark head has an S on it. I think that's a very high rank ingredient. We can make some kind of really cool uh, stuff with that. It's already evening. I feel stiff. Even so, Bancho's working alone. I should probably help. <laughs> it's not easy to manage with two people with more customers coming in. Mission updated. Not enough workers. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. Now, when that little thing happens, does that mean he wants to talk to us on the phone or what? <laughs> hmm. Not picking up. Okay. Let's go to the sushi shop and get ready for tonight's customers. Yoshi looks around. Uh, what voice am I going to use for her? <laughs> This is Bonchu's sushi place, hmm? <coughs> Miss Yoshi. <coughs> I came by because I heard this place is getting popular on Cookster. The name gave me pause, but to think it's really your place. <coughs> New food using never before seen ingredients. Can't taste this anywhere else, a taciturn but masculine chef. <coughs> wow, do they mention me too? <coughs> no, not really. <coughs> no. <coughs> In any case, what brings you all the way here, Miss Yoshi? Oh, various reasons. I wanted to check out the restaurant. Looks like you're still the same. Well, there's nothing to change. I simply continue on day by day, training myself. Oh, my goodness, that's the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in a similar fashion. And that's what got you booted from the hotel. Mm. You're talking about that again. That's the customer's fault for judging the food without even trying it. How long will you continue treating customers that way? Mm. Keep making that terrible food. What do you mean, terrible? Whole roasted shark head is an excellent dish. Shark has been used in cuisine in both the West and the East. And in Korea, it was even used in ancestral rituals. Stop! You've not changed one bit. Let me judge for myself then whether it's food fit for consumption. Then I can tell you why I came. Fine then, I'll show you. I'll make sure you know the true taste of shark head meat. Bancho, isn't this development a bit sudden? Dave, as a chef, this is a fight I can't back out of. My pride hangs in the balance. Please get me a white tip reef shark head and olive oil. You want me to catch a white tip reef shark? Yes. With your skills, it should be easy enough to do. The harpoon's not likely to be enough. Go take a good gun with you into battle. Even so, fighting a dish shark sounds way too dangerous. Do you mean to say you'll just stand by and watch while my pride is trampled? White tip reef shark is usually found in the ocean far to the right. Good luck. Suddenly wants me to get him a shark head? This is preposterous. It can only be killed with a gun? I'll have to ask Dave to make me a gun or search for one in the blue hole. Okay, so fortunately we've already done this. New content, special customer. Okay, sometimes special customers with a backstory will hear of the sushi bar and visit. Learn dishes that the customers want through research and serve them to the customers. You can now research new recipes. Use the artisan's flame to expand your menu. Okay, lot going on here. Let's see, uh, we can recipe the whole roasted shark head. As it happens, we just happened to grab that ingredient. Uh, the head of a white reef shark that's been deep fried whole. 53 bucks, 65 yumminess, and five meals. Let's use three of our 10 artisan's flames here that, to research this new menu item. Okay. Gain new cooking inspiration. Increase your cooks to grade. Your staff may inform you when they grow. Your special needs cust or your special customers may give you a heads up too. Okay, that takes care of that. Uh, we need to set the menu. Let's see what we have available. We yeah, we captured quite a lot of stuff today. Uh, we definitely have to put this on the menu, and we should maybe. I don't think we can enhance it though. 
Yeah, we, we need three more heads to do it. So let's at least put that on the menu. What else can we throw on there? Let's just get as much money as possible. I guess that's the easiest way to kind of pick it. Uh, Yellowback Facilier, sure. Four, um, let's see. What do we have a lot of? We can do some enhancing. <laughs> some enhancing. I am not a teenage boy. All right, so let's enhance the cardinal fish here. It's wicked cheap, but we've got uh, eight of them, so we can do some enhancement. And let's keep going with that. This is really low value sushi, so we might as well enhance it. I don't. I don't see that it costs anything except the fish itself. All right, what else can we get going here? Uh, what's expensive? That's 20. That's 10, that's eight. There we go, 24, and we've got five of them. Yeah, so let's throw that on the menu as well. And then for our final one, Let's go with the tastiest thing we have. That's gonna be this, the cuttlefish. Okay, there's our menu for the night. Let's uh, open up. Oh, he's gonna do this right now for her. Okay. <coughs> Ugh, disgusting as usual. The look of it just ruins my appetite. Even so, a promise is a promise. <laughs> How do you like it? It's good. It's tasty. I can taste the whole white tip reef shark fat inside the crispy roast. But it's not an overly cloying flavor. Is this, is this ginger? Ginger scent mixes with the strong flavor of the head. It's quite lovely. Ah. Hmm. Uh, uh, pardon me, I, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. The Book of Five Rings states that one should look at the essence of something instead of its appearance. Sharks look terrible on the outside, but they have robust meat and their head has a delicious taste. This whole roasted shark head brings such traits to their maximum potential. I must admit it. This is good. You, you pass, Bonjour. Oh. Let me tell you why I'm here then. This restaurant needs to hire people. I can help you with that. <coughs> huh? What do you mean? Do you still mean to go it alone, Bancho? This place is already operating at full capacity. <coughs> Things might be okay for now, but you won't be able to cope when even more customers come. <coughs> I can't continue working alone, but it's not easy to find people I can trust. I'm Yoshi the Recruiter. This is what I do these days. Let's start by putting out a hiring ad. Hire employees to reduce the workload. Employees help serve food in the dining area or make cooking faster. <laughs> Let me tell you how to recruit staff. Pay close attention to what I say. Okay, press X to post a hiring notice. Press the flyer to begin the hiring notice. Uh, flyer add, the following amount will be spent for the hiring notice. This one's free, resumes can be read starting on the next day, your current resumes will be discarded. Okay. Good, recruitment results become available the following day. I'll tell you more tomorrow. Uh, so we can we can't add anybody to the kitchen, but tomorrow we'll be able to add staff to the dining area. Hiring's in progress. Waiting room. Okay. Uh, can we update the menu now that the the whole roasted shark head is gone? No, we still get to sell it. Oh, I see. We had one, but we can make five orders from it or five servings of it from that. We've, we've used four of the five. Okay. Uh, I think we're good to go. Let's open the restaurant. Let's 
coffee. Some folks are going to want green tea. Other folks are going to want food. She wants food. Oh, somebody's ordering the shark head. Dish. Oh, we got a we got a social media thumbs up from that. Okay, man, I can see this getting really busy with a lot to manage. The wasabi, the tea, the food. We're getting lots of social media reaction, that's good. Do this, the uh, wasabi real quick. Got two orders for food. The shark head stuff is very profitable. I love that. And it's super tasty, so we get really good reviews from it. Close for the day. Cooksta Cole rank, 8 of 10. Today's likes, new. Uh, B, or 8, I guess, that's 8. 8 likes today, total of 8. Top sales were the whole roasted shark head. Revenue, 212. Net profit, 307. And I see, I was wondering what the operating and pay expenses were going to be and maintenance and stuff. That's going to be when we hire people. We got a 5 stars today, earned 5 more Artisan's Flame. All right, a really good day. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to take a break here. This one ran a little long, longer, but we still came in under 45 minutes. That's good. Looks like Professor Bacon is back. Or Dr. Bacon, excuse me, doctor. Uh, and so uh, when we come back, we'll see what Dr. Bacon has to say. We'll go on another dive, gather some more fish, uh, and make some more sushi. Look forward to it, guys. Uh, hope you're enjoying the series. Let me know in the series below or in the comments below, rather, what you think. Or join the Discord and chat with me anytime. I'm uh, always playing games. When I'm not, I'm chatting with my viewers. Love to hear from you. Uh, and otherwise, as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.